Each time you read a book on some steps to take to achieve something or do something, how have you felt? Did you feel fulfilled or stressed? Whether or not you believe it, several steps can guarantee a person's success in life. While you don't have to follow the steps in order, there are still certain things to do to achieve greatness. The year is coming to an end, and a new year is coming up. God wants you to achieve all that great success that you planned out before a new year comes along. We all know the new year resolutions we always make. The question is whether or not you follow through with them. Here are some steps to help guarantee success before the new year comes. Number 1. God wants you to go ahead and do those things you've planned to do. Stop procrastinating. One thing that God wants you to do before January that will indeed change your life for the better is that He wants you to stop procrastinating and go ahead to do those things you've always wanted to do. There are several things on your mind that you've always wanted to do, and there are some that you've planned out, and God wants you to do all of them. Just go ahead with those plans and God will bless them. There's a lot that'll change for you if you just go ahead and do something with your life. There's power in consistency. Once you decide what you want to do with your life at the moment, stick with it, and you'll experience great progress. There's a lot that'll happen by your hands before the new year if only you just go ahead and do something and get consistent with it. Consistency even with this little period that's left is something that can change your life forever. With your consistency, you can build something extremely worthwhile. Think about it. Constructors can raise a building within some stipulated time because they keep on building each passing day. They keep adding block upon block, sand on the sand, and they keep being consistent till they get the final results. If you have this attitude, many things about your life will change before the new year. While procrastinating can make you feel like you're winning because you're avoiding the displeasures of life, you're losing because in the long run, you would only realize that you're far behind in the things you want to achieve. Go ahead and do those things you've always wanted to do with your life so that you can achieve great goals before the new year comes. You doing this just as you planned without putting them off has great benefits. It'll help in your decision-making capacity. It'll help you to know how to always prioritize what's to be done. And it'll help you to achieve things you never thought of. When you're doing these things, make sure that you're consistent with them. Consistency is key. You must learn to be consistent in all that you do. It's consistency that'll bring out the results you desire before the new year comes. Consistency will change your life and cause a shift in the results you're going to see. Even the Bible says, the effectual fervent prayer, meaning that consistency is very important. Number 2. God wants you to be that better person you always want to be. Go ahead and develop yourself. There's a lot that can shift in your life if you decide to embrace growth. One thing God wants you to do before the new year comes is to grow. He desires to see you becoming that man or woman that you've always dreamt of becoming. When you put yourself out to grow by taking opportunities, you will be developing yourself for greater things in life. Firstly, you would be increasing your decision-making abilities, which will make you better suited for this world and its challenges. Also, when you're growing into the person you've always wanted to be, you would be very valuable to the people around you, and so you would be someone of impact who's making an impact on the world around you. This eventually increases your worth and makes you a person of high quality and value who's needed and wanted such that if there's a need that you'd be paid for your services or help, people would go ahead and pay. Apart from this, being a person of quality makes people of quality to get attracted to you. And those people of quality who get drawn toward you can be the sort of people that'll improve your life and create that shift into the greater success that you need before the new year runs out. You must realize that many times God's promotion for you will come through men. This means that if these men aren't seeing anything of quality value in you, then they most likely won't associate with you. So one thing God needs you to do for you to get that great shift before January is that you go to work on yourself and develop into that woman or man that you've always wanted to be. 
For you to become that person you've always wanted to be, you must go ahead and work on yourself. This may mean getting skills, attending seminars, taking a course or several courses, and a group of other things. It also means actively working on your emotions and making sure that you're getting better with the way you interact with people who are around you. Number 3. God wants you to get closer to Him. One thing that God wants you to do before the new year comes, before the new year comes even closer to us, is to get closer to Him. God desires intense and deep fellowship with us as believers and as His children, so He's very concerned that you get close to Him. He desires that you get close to Him in fellowship for several reasons. Firstly, God wants to direct your paths to great success before the new year comes and He can only direct you if you're sensitive to Him. He wants to guide and lead you by His word, but He can't do that if you're not conscious of His presence in your life. God can cause a massive and great shift to occur in your life right through your fellowship with Him. This is why He desires that you get close to Him before this year comes to an end. Another reason He wants you close to Him is so that you can feel very loved by Him. Our knowledge of God shapes our experience of God. God wants you to fall in love with Him so that you can experience His love for you and so that you can know that you have someone who's always with you. This knowledge of God's love over you is what you can get through the Word of God and prayers to Him. This knowledge of His love and presence in your life is something that can change your life forever. Service toward God is something that God desires you to do. It's something that can change your life before the new year comes around. When we work for God, He blesses us and moves us into greater blessings. Number 4. God wants you to build intentional and impactful relationships. One thing that God sincerely desires you to do is to build intentional and impactful relationships with people that can change your life. God doesn't want you to always be frolicking with people that are time wasters. Rather, He wants you to go ahead and build intentional relationships with people who have good and sound values that can help you to change your life for the better before the new year. Your relationship with people would determine how far you go in life. If you build relationships with people who are right for you, your life can change before the new year comes. Number 5. God wants you to let go of your past. The last thing I'm sharing with you is that you should let go of your past. God indeed wants you to let go of all your past pains and burdens before the new year. The past is called the past for a reason, because it holds no power over us. However, if you continue to give it power, then it will destroy the great future that you could have. When you let go of the past, you're making room for the new. And this is something that God wants you to do before the new year so that you can have enough open space to accommodate the new and great things He's bringing to your life before the starting of the new year. When you let go of the past, you're able to focus on the present, to make an impact and to do what's best for your life. Let go of the past and you'll experience a significant shift in your life before the start of the new year. You've seen five important things that God wants you to do before the new year to cause a shift in your life. What do you plan to do differently with this knowledge? Were you already doing any of these? This is God's word to you today. Don't lose sight of it. Act and you'll see a difference in your life.